So uh, earlier this week, I had a chance to catch up with a friend to Southwest Virginians and talk to him about what's happening in IT and what's happening specifically with IT in Southwest Virginia. So let's cut to that clip and, uh, and listen in. We're here at the Virginia Highlands Small Business Incubator just down the road from Virginia Highlands Community College. And I'm joined by my friend, Delegate Israel O'Quinn, who represents the 5th District here in the Commonwealth. Did I get that right, 5th District? You got it. And he's here to talk with us a little bit about IT here in Southwest Virginia. So let's just start from the beginning, Delegate. Um, industry's not today what it was even 50 years ago in Southwest Virginia. A lot has changed. Can you talk a little bit about it? Absolutely. So Southwest Virginia was very heavy on agriculture. We had tobacco, dairy farms, um, and you still see a lot of that agriculture economy, but um, some of the jobs that we had like textile manufacturing um, have since been moved um, overseas and the coal economy has sort of ebbed and flowed over the years. And so one of the sectors that has come to the forefront in Southwest Virginia is the information technology sector. Um, and we now have a lot of opportunities that we didn't have um, even just a handful of years ago. Well, you, you said it exactly right. IT is absolutely growing here in Southwest Virginia. And you've been right in the middle of that at the, uh, as a delegate here representing our area in Richmond. Talk a little bit about what's happening now in IT and even some of uh, the infrastructure stuff that you've been working sure. on, some of the businesses that have committed to Southwest Virginia in IT. Absolutely. So to be able to have information technology, you have to have the backbone. And the backbone is broadband service. Um, and so that's something that we've worked really hard on passing um, a lot of legislation, trying to secure funding and uh, bringing federal, state and local together to get that backbone uh, together so that you can actually do what needs to be done. Because nowadays, um, you know, everything in your life is online, whether we like it or not. You know, it's a DMV transaction. It's your medical records. Um, it's, you know, being able to stay in touch with your grandkids and your family. Um, it's all online and it's all becoming necessary. So um, we have to be able to have people connected and to have that um, ability to actually get online. But what that also does is open up um, other job opportunities. And that's where IT comes into play. And um, certainly we have at least, uh, at least two uh, technology companies right now here in the incubator who um, are hiring and growing um, and trying to, uh, trying to grow those jobs. And so from the Commonwealth's perspective, um, information technology is one of those sectors that the Virginia Economic Development Partnership is really focused on. And frankly, um, it led our delegation um, to create our own marketing effort called Invest Southwest Virginia that um, we are going out and proactively trying to recruit tech companies here. Um, and a couple of the ones that you see here today are a result of that. And so we want to ensure that Southwest Virginia students have the ability to stay right here and work in high tech jobs that um, just a, you know, a decade or so ago would have been um, you know, unthinkable. Fantastic. The idea that a student can start here, finish here, and stay here in a great high-tech job, um, as you said, just a few years ago would have been out of reach for us. Now, when we think of IT jobs, it's easy for our minds to go straight to programming or high-end computing jobs, some of them that require advanced degrees. But in the new world that, in which we live, not everything uh, IT related is at a computer programming firm. So there's sure. other jobs too, right? So there's always going to be a place for, for high-end developers with a PhD, but you've also got a lot of entry-level positions and everything in between. And that's where Virginia Highlands Community College can play such a vital role in giving students the building blocks they need to be able to get into this. Because you know, as more of our life goes online, more of our daily actions go online, you know, you're going to need the engineers to build these networks. You're going to need the cybersecurity specialists to keep everything safe. Um, I would argue that cybersecurity is probably going to be one of the most important um, subcategories of information technology that we're going to see going forward. It's something that the government is very concerned about. It's something individuals are rightly concerned about. And so gigantic opportunities there. And so um, fortunately, we have the training available right here, just up the hill. Um, and we also have employers here um, who want and need to hire students from Southwest Virginia to fill these roles. And I think that you're only going to see that grow as there's more emphasis put on that uh, by uh, Richmond and then by, you know, local and state government leaders right here in Southwest Virginia. It's going to be a big deal and it's, uh, and it's not going to, it's not going away anytime soon. You couldn't, couldn't have said it better myself. 
Thank you, Israel. I'm so grateful for you, for the work that you're doing for all of us here in Southwest Virginia, and especially your leadership in the information technology sector. Uh, students, moms and dads, friends and family, as you're listening to this broadcast, there are jobs right here in Southwest Virginia with great high-tech companies, wonderful pathways where you can start at Virginia Highlands and go wherever the future goes, uh, onto a four-year university, into a great job here in the small business incubator, and all points in between. All right, big thank you to Delegate Israel O'Quinn, who uh, represents our area right here in Southwest Virginia. I appreciate him joining me down at the uh, incubator, the, the Highlands Incubator, to talk about two high-tech companies that are there now uh, hiring IT graduates. So, Tamara, let me come back to you. The delegate said it beautifully. There's lots of reasons to think about IT as a future career, um, whether it be uh, as an entry level all the way up to maybe even one day a PhD. 